Hi everyone, it's Chris Tilly from Pantania Sail and Motor Yacht Insurance. I'm here with Blake Francis from Francis Hi Marine. Everyone. We're down here in Newport on Sydney's northern beaches. And today we're talking about stern drives. Yeah. Stern drives, they pose a bit of an issue if they go neglected. So I want to talk to Blake, the expert, who sees lots of different stern drives come in and out of the yard. If these kind of boats go neglected for a period of time, can you run us through some of the major issues that you see develop and how to how you take care of it? Uh, well, if we can look at these stern drives here, just bring it a bit closer here. Um, normally around the bellows is your first point of call with oysters. Um, usually a boat left in the water, stern drive boat around pit water, Sydney Harbour where there's a lot of salt water flow. Um, a lot of oysters growing in around here, cut in bellows. And really, once the bellows are cut, water inside there gets into the universal shaft. You know, universal shaft is only steel. Um, it'll rust up straight away. The components will seize together, potentially destroying the back of the boat if they were to let go. Uh, and aside from that, the components are quite expensive. So, you know, for the price of having a boat lifted, at least inspected every six months, just to clean in and around here, you know, stern drive antifoul is aluminium antifoul. It doesn't particularly work all that well, being it's not copper base, and um, the growth grows really quickly. Other than that, in and around these seals here, uh, growth, maybe fishing line on the propeller shaft seals, um, you know, maybe the anodes aren't working correctly, possibly a bonding issue inside the boat. Checking steering pins, your trim and tilt system. Anywhere there is any point of contact where uh, dissimilar metals are touching, you're gonna to have some issues there. So it's always a good idea to get it lifted out, get it inspected, make sure everything's at the top of its game, and therefore you're gonna reduce the, the sort of uh, overall sort of uh, spending on it. So obviously these boats need to come out of the water a bit more often than a boat with a shaft drive. Can you explain the reason why that is? and why these boats need particularly a bit more maintenance? Well, over a shaft drive boat or a, um, a boat where it's mechanical components are inside the vessel which aren't contacting salt water, um, being that these are made of aluminium, they are a pricey component. But uh, yeah, certainly it is to do with the aluminium antifoul that they have to use on these. You can't use copper-based antifouls, being that it will react with the aluminium. Um, and then therefore the aluminium antifoul, which is a hard-based antifoul, it doesn't work as well as the hull antifoul. And any growth can inhibit any of these components in here and cause damage, So, um, which a lot of it's not insurable. So at the same time, it's good to have the boat lifted, have it cleaned, at least just cleaned, not so much serviced, just cleaned and then reapply the antifoul in certain areas, yeah. So stern drives, best practice, once every six months, have the boat lifted, have it cleaned, consult with a professional such as Blake from Francis Marine. Blake, thank you so much for running right, us through pleasure. stern drives. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.